Hey guys, what's up? This is Fix Your Med. In today's tutorial video, I'll be teaching you guys a better way to connect your 8-bit dope microcontroller to your iOS device to control Anki Mobile. Now, I've already made a tutorial on this subject before, but it was basically a more bare bones version of this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I wanna go through more advanced features of the 8-BitDo Ultimate mapping software. So instead of utilizing Anki Mobile's default gamepad mapping software that basically only allows you to basically map the uh, front face buttons of A, B, X, and Y, the 8-BitDo uh, Ultimate software mapping software should allow you to essentially use it as a better version of Kant Anki natively on your iOS device. You can also utilize these profiles with other applications besides Anki, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's mainly focused towards Anki mobile utilization and best mappings for it. So for the sake of this tutorial, you're gonna need an active internet connection, which you should have if you're watching this tutorial, and you're gonna need a device that is compatible of connecting to your 8BitDo microcontroller, either through Bluetooth or USB. The 8-BitDo microcontroller, in theory, can work with a wired connection to your iOS device, whether that's a USB-C to Lightning connection or a USB-C to USB-C connection. I've tested this out on the iPad Pro M1 and a wired connection was detected, but your results may vary if you defer by device or whatnot. I don't think it would work with a USB-C to 30 pin adapter. I haven't tried it. I haven't had a 30 pin Apple device in a while, so not touching on the subject there. And I guess that's all you need for the tutorial besides the iOS device. So anywho, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. So before we get started, make sure you have switched your 8-bit Do microcontroller to the K mode and not the S mode as last time. The K mode stands for keyboard mode. Keyboard mode is basically an emulation of a Bluetooth keyboard. So 8-bit Do Micro is essentially acting as a keyboard here and not as a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So once you have switched to K mode, you can go ahead and hold the home button and the pair button. You can hold this for a second and it should start blinking blue. Now you can find the home button right next to the star and you can find the pair button right next to the S, D, and K uh, mode toggles. So go ahead and hold that. And once you start blinking, you can open up your Bluetooth settings in your settings page. And it should pop up as 8-bit though micro gamepad. So go ahead and connect your 8-bit dope micro gamepad to your iOS device. As you can see, I have connected my 8-bit dope micro as it shows up as connected. Sweet. Once I've connected my device, I can go on to the next step, which is getting the 8-bit dope ultimate mapping software. So go ahead and open your app store, hit search, type up 8-bit dope ultimate software, it should be this first result that pops up. You can go ahead and disregard this one if you have a 8-bit Do controller. So go ahead, open 8-bit Do Ultimate Software. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and hit open. Ultimate Software would like to use Bluetooth. Hit allow. Go into detect. Click to use Ultimate Software. You need to hit this button on your controller. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And boom, as you can see, I have a profile I've been working on. Um, I'm gonna customize it to my needs. So I'm gonna assume you guys are holding the controller in one hand. So I like holding it in one hand and when I'm utilizing it, it kind of rotates to the other side. So B becomes A and then Y becomes B essentially. So that's how I like to look at the controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and map it to my specifications. You guys can modify this however you want as you go through and play around with the settings. But I'll go ahead and put 
enter my settings in. So B, I'm gonna set to enter, because enter basically flips the card over and basically registers the card as good, which is equivalent to three. So I'm gonna find enter. I got B set for enter, wonderful. One is typically set for again. So one I would like to set to Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Where key bad, hit one. That's basically my again key. Um, A is easy, so I'm gonna set that to four for myself. And X is again. I usually don't hit again if I'm on FSRS, so I'm gonna set that to two because I don't plan on using that button much. R2, that's gonna be my image occlusion enhanced toggle key where if I have multiple masks, if I hit G, that will untoggle all of the currently masked images. I'll be sure to go into more detail about that in another video because I don't think a lot of people are using this for image occlusion enhanced cards. I think they're more so using it for on king cards. So I'm gonna quiet down there and <laughs> talk about that later. Okay, uh, I got that. Obviously I don't need G again there. So I'm gonna set that L2 to comma. Uh, comma is basically utilized when you have multiple closed deletion cards listed. Most of the time you'll see this in a deck like the On King where there's like a bunch of symptoms listed and the disease is listed with a star icon and when you hit the star icon it will list the disease and you can hit through the other symptoms one by one. I know there's a card about um, trisomy 13, Patel syndrome and it's like what does the acronym stand for and it's like children have an awful prognosis with patel so you had to go through and list uh cleft lip palate uh hollow prince aplasia acutis polydactyly polycystic kidney disease and you get that one by one but if you hit comma it will list it all there for you guys uh, if you guys aren't watching the content for uh med school related content my bad for um listing that on y'all but that's the best example i could come up with there r and l i like to set those to uh, redo and undo so i think it's gonna be a little tough to set it but i think i can do a key combo here so i'm gonna do control and then i'm gonna do z control plus z should be undo answer card so oh, control c that should be good why is it like this okay I'll test this out later. Let me just go ahead and hit that. Okay. Key combo control Z. Enter. I don't know. It's saying it's control Z there. I'm going to test it out. See how it goes. But so that's R is undo. Control and Z is undo key combos control shift Z our redo okay that's that's weird it's not cooperating with me but maybe it will with you guys so control shift Z is redo and control Z is undo Try and see if it works on your device. It didn't work on mine for some reason. Like, I hit enter, it shows up as control Z. 
I hit control and Z it shows up just as control Z plus null and whatnot so I'll be sure to report that to the 8-bit though development team try to fix that but it is what it is but that's the basic gist that should give you a lot of uh, controllability there to use the software however you want but you can also set the uh, little star icon to Y. I'll test it out and see what that does. It's more of an advanced tactic. I mainly give you guys instructions for the um, basic information. So, Windows plus one. I usually like setting these plus and minus buttons to zoom in and zoom out but honestly on the mobile version I don't think I'm gonna mess with it too much because the software is already acting pretty clunky with me right now so as of right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is uh, if you guys want to play around with it more be sure to do so I'm gonna go ahead and sync it to my device sync is complete so I'm going to go ahead and test it on Anki now. So I'm going to, yeah, I haven't synchronized this Anki to my computer in a long time. So I'm just going to go through some MCAT questions. Uh, let's see. I hit enter. I hit B. Okay. I tried the undo key. The undo key is not working unfortunately even though i tried mapping it through the key mapping software if i find a fix for that or if i messed up i'll be sure to put it in the comment section below while i'm reviewing and editing this video but that's, that's unfortunate everything else was working good but the undo key and the redo key so that is set to hard so i hit that for a Okay, I said that too again. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys, the uh, pictures and everything are really messed up on this test deck, but I'm not touching the screen. Uh, usually you can see like I'm using this mouse and stuff. If I would be touching, you can probably see my haptic feedback and whatnot, but I'm using the uh, controller. I'm hitting B, B, B. I'm hitting B Y B Y B Y for hard. It's working out well for me so far. So my basic face buttons and stuff are working. Uh, the main thing that's giving me issues are the advanced mapping, the undo, redo, etc. If I'm able to fix that, I'll be sure to let you guys know how I was able to fix it and what. I did to fix it because I'm pretty positive there's a way to get the um, keyboard commands for undo and redo to work on mobile. Um, I don't know exactly as of this moment, but I'll work on it. But besides that, for the most part, you guys should be set for advanced mapping on the 8 micro for iOS devices uh, sometimes it's funky don't get it twisted it's not as easy as a content key mapping but uh, for advanced mapping this is what we get so far um, I'll be sure to test the uh, other mapping software out and see if it works with the 8-bit though micro and other controllers so if that works better for the more advanced functions like the GH comma keys etc and the undo and redo commands, I'll be sure to let you guys know in an update video to use that instead. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's all I have for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I know I know these 8-bit uh, dough mappings can be really challenging and really tiring. Trust me, like in this video, you guys literally saw me. I put a register key as control and Z and it showed up as control Z null and when I put control shift Z it shows up as control Z so 
there's a lot of funk with the iOS version of the controller. It is just what it is. Mobile is harder to develop for than PC and Mac. So if you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, please, please, please put them in the comment section below. I'll be monitoring them. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you dislike this video because it was long and rambling, uh, be sure to leave a dislike and tell me, yo, shut up or something. And I'll be sure to fix it for the next one. And if you want more content like this in the future, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, subscriptions really help the motivation for this channel and whatnot. So I really love seeing uh, new people join the channel. And yeah, that's all I have for the video today, guys. Uh, be sure to have a good time studying as always. And good luck studying and whatnot. So late in the night, this is Fix Your Med. Signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.